For this project, you'll need to create two different patterns. One that looks like a paw print for all the fur friends in your household, and one that looks like a normal human foot stocking for the people in your household. For the paw print pattern, you'll also need to make the foot pads. The toes just look like little ovals, and the centerpiece looks a bit like a stretched out heart. We included initials on each of our stockings. For ours, we freehanded the letters, but you could always print some letters off and use them as patterns. Finally, you'll need some rectangles the same width as your paw print and your stocking to create the border on the top. For the main part of our stocking, we used flannel. For the initials and the paw pad pieces, we used felt. For the top border of the stocking, we used fleece. First, cut out a rectangle of your flannel big enough to accommodate the main portion of your pattern twice. Fold it in half face to face. Then, using a Sharpie or a fabric pencil or a pen, trace around your pattern. Once you're done tracing, cut out your pattern, make sure that you cut through both layers of fabric. Trace your paw pad pieces onto felt. You'll need to use a Sharpie marker to do this. You need four toes and one center piece. If you've cut out a paper pattern for the initials that go on your stocking, then you'll want to put those letters on in reverse when you trace them. This way, you won't have a Sharpie marker outline on your final piece. The final piece that you'll need to cut will be made out of fleece. The fleece pieces are simple rectangles as wide as the top of your stocking and about four inches long. Now, all your pieces are ready to be sewn together. The first step is to sew the borders on your pieces. We'll attach the border at the top of the stocking with leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. Make sure that your pieces are face to face. Once you've sewn the tops on your pieces, you'll put your pieces face to face and match them up, making sure that the toes fit together perfectly. You might wanna put a single pin or a couple pins in the center of your piece to hold it in place as you sew around the perimeter. Follow all the curves of your pattern, leaving about a quarter inch seam allowance. Once you've sewn around the perimeter, turn your stockings right side out. You may need to use a marker or a pen or a chopstick to push the toes of your paws out flat. Now take the fleece border of your piece and fold it inward. Now arrange your felt pieces on your stocking the way you want them and go ahead and glue them on. Hot glue works really well for this portion of the project. Finally, we attached ribbons to the corner of our stocking so that we could hang them. If you have cute buttons or beads that you'd like to add to make your piece look better, go for it. To create the bunting, cut a strip of fleece and then pull it tight between your hands until it forms a sort of tube. Slip the fleece through the ribbon on your stocking, leaving eh, about a foot on the end, then tie a knot. Slip your next stocking on. And tie a knot again. Keep going till you have them all nicely arranged on your fleece rope. And now your bunting is all ready to hang. Thanks for watching. Check out the Jessamine County Public Library YouTube channel for more fun craft videos.